So here's a quick one that I think a lot of you guys will find quite funny, particularly you guys that do dating and relationships. Ones that know exactly what things are like right now in the dating scene, how the gals treat guys, etc. This is about a gal who's losing her mind because the guy she really likes is treating her in a manner the way that so many gals treat guys in today's dating scene. Now she's getting a taste of her own medicine and doesn't like it too much. Title. <clears throat> he doesn't want a relationship and I caught feelings. She says here, not a special story, just like every other story of this kind out there. He is 26 years old, and I'm 26. <clears throat> we met, liked each other, both are nice, caring, affectionate people, have the same interests, have great conversation, blah, 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 amazing sex, blah, blah, blah. Some hesitance at my end in the beginning because we have very different backgrounds, friend circle, lifestyle, etc. But I slowly started to think that those are similar issues, and I like him as a person. The amazing SEX helps, too. And then he dropped the, I'm not ready to jump into a relationship line, just when I started to like him. So, how many guys have had been on dates and all, they're dating a girl, and they want a relationship, and she, you know, and, and they shouldn't be asking for a relationship, she should be doing it, but they do it anyway, and she's not sure, not sure how she feels, has to think about it, or doesn't want a relationship, or something like that. <clears throat> he said he was confused and didn't know what he wants, and maybe we should slow things down. Now, what, who does that sound like? How many guys have heard that before? I'm confused. I'm not sure about how I feel, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I want. We should slow things down. That, that's a line so many guys have heard. Uh, by slowing down, it meant we saw each other regularly and keep having amazing time, go to museums together, watch movies, and cook. I don't think either of us is having SCX with anybody else. And the intimacy and affections are just there. Too good to ignore. Made me wake up to the big stupid smile and can't stop laughing when I am next to him. This is also a situation where she is with a guy who's not chasing after her. He's driving her nuts. And so she's obsessed with him. This is what happens when a guy takes his time, has her chase after him, makes her unsure about how he feels. Because remember, women hate uncertainty, but they're attracted to it and drawn to it. And he is doing that. And also you can see why I guarantee you this doesn't work out. She would then go treat a guy exactly how he's treating her. <clears throat> and now I have the I want more feeling. Like, I want to see him more often, I want to know that he is thinking of me too, and I want to be supportive to him, and want the support back. Not saying I want to be my boyfriend, who took home to my uh, mom, but I want to know there's a possibility that our connection will grow. Fair, right? Bullshit. She wants him to be in a relationship with her, but he's taking his time. And again, this is the attitude a lot of gals have nowadays with the guys. They're just like, eh, eh. I agree that our feelings for each other are spectrum. And relationships, friends and benefits, boyfriends and girlfriends, take all kinds of shapes or forms. And I can't force the same feelings copied and pasted into his mind, but I do want my feelings are somewhat reciprocated. See, he's driving her nuts, the same way the gals are driving guys nuts nowadays, until guys learn better. I text him and told him that, that and, all, and basically, he's not going to change anything for me, which is what I expected, and we are going to let it fade. I know I'm a person that has a lot of feelings and love to give, and I'm not apologetic for that. I think it's something that is valuable in my life, and it's probably unfair to just wish someone could take all those feelings all in. I know that, but it just sucks that disappointment happened over and over again. First time posting here, and I hope I'm not against any rules, I feel sad and tired, and I just feel like I have to tell someone, anyone. So there you go. How many guys can identify with what she's complaining about, how the girls treat them. And it's pretty funny they see this girl in particular, not even realizing it, because I guarantee the way she's describing him being just indifferent, not giving a shit, making her wonder, driving her nuts, saying things like, I'm not sure I feel, or I don't know what I want, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you she's done that to plenty of dudes. And if she hasn't done it to any dudes, which I seriously doubt, she has friends that do that. And now she's with a guy is doing the same thing. So you can see how he behaves here and drives her nuts. And she's saying how uh, we'll let it fade. No. But if there was a guy that was treating her, I guarantee you, if he was treating her the way she's acting towards him, she'd lose interest. It never ceases to amaze me. I thought it would be a pretty funny one here to go over. The, you relationship guys definitely know all about.